Sleep, I just heard a bunch of screaming. Ran out, seen my son, my stepson shot in the leg. It's time for people to put the guns down. We must stand up and fight like hell. Or we'll be here next year with another slogan, with another excuse. They need to do something about what's going on over here, you know, because it's scary. It is. They want it to stop. You can hear there, our St. Pete community is fed up with the violence. And they're getting closer to the solution by getting closer to the problem. So there's a new city program that's being rolled out called Hidden Voices. It's a bottom-up approach to fight gun violence. So what's that mean? Well, there's street teams that go out, and these are people who have lost a loved one to a shooting or criminals who have turned their life around. And their goal is to connect with people. As 10 Tampa Bay's Emerald Morrow shows us, the group is already making a difference. I have a bullet in my back that went through my lung and that missed the artery that supplies the blood to my brain by, by uh, a hairline. So this is near and dear to my heart. Enough is enough. Matias Bird knows what it means to live the street life. Well, I understand what some of these kids are doing. Some of these kids are just in fear. Bird is helping lead the new Hidden Voices initiative announced today in St. Pete. It's a collaboration between the city and Perk, a group that helps those returning from prison get on their feet. And unless you actually hear from the voices that are impacted, you will never be able to find an adequate solution. Hidden voices will include street teams of people who've turned their lives around. They'll connect with young people at risk of following a similar path. I really live by the model that those closest to the problem are closest to the solution, but oftentimes they're farthest away from the resources. So job training and life skills will be key. Perk's Second Chance construction program will help. I'll be one of the individuals that's going out to the communities. Maurice Scott lost his son to gun violence in 2019. I'm not over it. Then last year, a suspect in the crime was killed in a shootout with police. It's a vicious cycle these men believe they can stop by starting from the bottom up. Trying to end the gun violence by placing the seed of accountability into, for the safety of our communities into the minds of each individual especially people who are out there most likely to experience trauma at any moment. They're not just saying it, they're acting, as you can hear. And this year alone, St. Pete has already had 16 murders, most of them concentrated in the southern part of the city. But that community isn't alone in this either. Earlier this year, St. Pete Police began the Community Assistance Program and Life Liaison Pilot Program, and the department tells us it's working. Let's take a deeper dive. Social workers are sent to nonviolent calls. Those might include a mental health crisis, a homeless complaint, or a neighborhood dispute. There's a staff of 16 of them. Since the start of the program in January, teams of two have been dispatched 608 times.